like you hear all sorts of stats, like expulsions are going up, possession case are going up. Part of it is because people are more aware of marijuana in their schools, and you know, it's not. It doesn't necessarily correlate that just because there's more expulsions or just because there's more people getting caught with marijuana that that means that there's more marijuana. And I'm not trying to like make excuses. It's just that they're. Statistics can be manipulated in whatever way you want. Our general rule is like we don't lie about our statistics. I would I would say that the other side does not follow that same uh, rule, and that hurts us at times with our arguments. But you know, we the one the big one we always hear is like more kids are being admitted now for marijuana use, marijuana addiction than ever before, and more kids are being expelled. Well, more kids are being expelled because they know more about it and because they're taking it more seriously because of the things that you're talking about. And more kids are being admitted because when you get caught, the way that it works these days is for you to stay out of trouble to keep it off your record, you have to go into treatment for marijuana addiction. You have to say, oh, I've got a problem. You don't just get to say, hey, you know what? I used marijuana on the weekends. I had a friend, I got caught with it or whatever. Um, it's, it's sort of this, everyone who's using it is an, is an abuser as opposed to uh, some people being abusers, some people being abusers. And like the people that don't want this to be legal which are particularly the people that run uh, addiction clinics and are sort of the, the, those folks whose livelihoods exist because uh, of treatment and other things, uh, they're, you know, they play a significant part of this because they're the ones kind of manipulating these statistics.